Today we're talking about the Sony FX3 FX30 V2 Basic Kit by Tilta. In a previous video, I covered the full camera cage V2 by Tilta, which is a subset of the Basic Kit V2. I recommend you go back and watch that video for all the details. For this video, we'll look at what's in the box, cover assembly, mounting options, V1 versus V2, and I'll give my final thoughts. This video is not sponsored. I paid for this gear with my own money. My thoughts on these products are always candid and not exaggerated for the sake of views. This channel is not about generating hype. It's about providing value for those who watch. Tilta's Basic Kit V2 is priced at $179 USD and comes in black or titanium gray. In the box, we have the full camera cage V2, Xeno top handle, 15 millimeter rods, base plate adapter type three, universal base plate, 2.5 millimeter Allen key and 3 16 inch Allen key. There are three quarter 20 locating points to attach the cage to the body. One on the left side arm, one on the right side arm, and one on the bottom plate. When first assembling the cage, I found that I could only get all three locating screws tightened down completely if I started with the screw on the left side arm. For more information on this issue, see my video on the full camera cage V2. Next one needs to attach the base plate adapter type 3 to the universal base plate using 2 quarter 20 bolts and the 3 16 inch Allen key. The trick is to align the two bolts on the universal base plate to the threads on the type 3 adapter before setting one on top of the other. Following this, one can insert the 15 millimeter rods and tighten the tie downs for each rod. The tie down lever position can be adjusted by pulling them outward and rotating them to the desired direction. At this time, one can attach the camera to the base plate by pressing and holding the safety pin button, making sure the rear lock is disengaged, and sliding in the camera until one hears a click. Then one can re-engage the safety lock at the back of the base plate. Finally, one can attach the Xeno top handle by making sure the NATO lock is unlocked, sliding it onto the NATO rail, centering it above the camera's hot shoe, and locking it down. The base plate has 3 quarter 20 threads and a single 3A16 to add your own quick release plate. In addition, there is a lockable standard dovetail receiver. The NATO top handle has a quarter 20 to 3 a 16 thread adapter with RE standard locating pins on the front. A steel reinforced quarter 20 with RE standard locating pins on the rear. On the top, there is one 3 a 16 with locating pins, two quarter 20s with locating pins, and a cold shoe with a locking pin. So pros, the basic kit V2 is $70 USD cheaper than V1 at launch. Next, V2's base plate adapter type 3 is more efficient and intuitive to operate than the rear mount of V1. Furthermore, V2's universal base plate can work with type 1 and type 2 adapters, enhancing compatibility with other camera cages in the future. In addition, the Xeno top handle has a huge grip, locking cold shoe, great for mounting a monitor, and plenty of other locking accessory mounts. Finally, the HDMI cable clamp can accommodate larger HDMI cables than V1. Cons, there is no locating pin in the HDMI cable clamp design which was present on V1. Next, the tie downs for the 15 millimeter rods and base plate have play in them, including when I added the 10 inch dovetail plate in the locked position. Last, V2's assembly was not ideal. The locating points on the cage did not seem to line up with the camera's threads. I had to screw the bolts down in a particular order for it to work. However, once I got the cage completely secured on the camera, it seemed to adjust itself and be easier to take on and off afterwards. Summing up, the Basic Kit V2 is a very nice foundation to build on. I was quite critical of the full camera cage V2 in isolation, but with the new side mount base plate and Xeno top handle, I was won over, especially compared to V1. V1's rear mount base plate was hard to deal with within confined spaces, and its rotatable top handle was small and hard to hold. Thus, 179 for the basic kit V2 is a steal. 
especially when one considers sold separately. The cage is 109, the modular base plate is 99, 15 millimeter rods are 15, and the Zeno top handle is 39. I also recommend you watch my video on Tilta's XLR extension bracket. It's been a great accessory to have on my FX3 rig. If you got value from this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.